<laughs> Greetings and salutations. <laughs> hey, hello. Oh, hey. Hello. <laughs> That's what's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do I need to be told something? <laughs> no, 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 definitely not. not. <laughs> no, no. Let's just, let's just say it was it's bad enough for me to want... Dustin. It's just you don't want to be told what they're talking about. <laughs> okay. Well, how about this? How about one of you gives me a recap? How about that? Uh, I shall be giving the recap. Okay. All right. Go right. right ahead, music's going. Last time, on the Silver Star, the Stillborn Grove. Our party found itself in the midst of a fierce battle with a monstrous aberration known as the Wasting Weird, whose very essence seeped with mana of a strange nature that warped the world around us. The Weird fought alongside its many offsprings which had begun to surround us. In an attempt to distance myself from the creature, I began to whisper a song I once overheard Jacket sing, sing. A song capable of bringing pain to even the mightiest of foes. Meanwhile, my allies were battling every ever-growing numbers of the weird children. One by one, my comrades were falling, and I watched in horror as Jacket was car carried off by one of the children. Desperation drove me to throw myself into the dick, thick of the fray, but the situation was bleak. Surrounded, I was slashed in the back by the wasting weird. As I collapsed, my blood pulling beneath me, my final thoughts was, Is this it? Is this how my journey ends? Failing not only my clan, but also my closest friend for a second time, proving to be nothing more than a burden. As I lay there, that same strange man overcame me, and for a brief moment, it felt as though my entire body was engulfed in flames. But I muttered to myself, We are not destined to fall here. I will not fail them again. Together, we will see this through, to the very end. And with shield willpower, I stood, clinging to life, as we fought the wasting weir to the brink. At last, we struck it down. As the creature died, its body crumbled into a husk, and its children dissipated into dust. Strange flowers began to bloom from the remains, growing with weird magic. Intrigued, Raiko started to harvest the flowers, and I thought it would be wise to collect some of the well water for later investigation. However, the moment I touched the water, the burning cessation returned, only this time, it was far more intense, as if my very soul was on fire. The last thing I remember was a blinding white light. Alright, inspiration for you. Very good. Alrighty, so... Even though you guys are on this map, you aren't quite here yet. <clears throat> let me uh, let me get some stuff set up for you. Let's see here. Oh <laughs> uh, yes. Have does anybody does, does anybody that is conscious have survival? Uh, I do. I do. Okay. Go and roll that for me, please. Uh, I give Sky advantage, so you can roll that. I like the advantage. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Okay, <clears throat> as the party flees from whatever is happening with the weird and whatever fate may have befell them should they have lingered and stayed, you make your way through the forest at a quickened pace, or at least as fast as you can travel, falling to um, 
unconscious party members. Eventually, you begin to recognize the movement, uh, excuse me, recognize your surroundings. You see the old crossroads, you turn to the south, and you follow it back to the beach, hoping that this is the right direction. Eventually, the party will return, and it would seem, for at least now, undeterred. <coughs> Why? Okay. Would you like me to move you into the encampment together? Yes, please. Yes, please. We're moving post haste. Hey, good thing about being a navigator. <laughs> good job, Skya. <laughs> All right, you're now back. Um, could you take us all? Because we're carrying these two. At least, could you move us like in closer and? Yeah. As we kind of enter the building, do we see anybody there? They kind of yell out, um, Saki, you're out here. You do not see anyone else there. Oh, fuck. All right, put them down. Put them down gently on the bedrolls. Come on. Navi, give me a hand. Okay. Got to put Ryoji down carefully. Brody, get Jacket there. Reiko, could you help him out? Of course. But yes, I suppose. What, what oh, is fuck. this place? It, it's our place of respite for now. Um, fuck it. Does anybody know what's going on with them? Uh, I bet you Sata could know since there are sh they would know some medical stuff. Fuck, I would love to ask them, but uh, I, they're still probably on the mission. I, I don't know. I don't see anybody here. Unless you want to you wanna take a look around the area? You want to fly outside and look for them? Uh, one moment. Uh, what can I roll to see, to see what's going on with them? Medicine, if you have it trained. I do not oh. have it trained, but I, can I do it with Jack of all trades? I have it trained. Sure. <laughs> I have it trained, too. Yeah, then let's all check with medicine. Then you may let's roll. Let's check with medicine. Brody, you said you had it trained, too? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just rate, uh, aid Raiko, because Raiko's got better... Uh... Alright, roll again, Raiko. Alrighty. 18 okay. it is. <laughs> well, you're not quite sure exactly what is wrong with them. Their bodies seem to bear the wounds that you witnessed them uh, bear in the midst of the of the battle. It seems almost like they are shivering and shaking, like they are caught in a nightmare within their mind. It definitely seems mental, not physical, whatever the ailment is. My, my best guess is overexposure to the mana in this area, but... Even then, oh, we all saw what happened. Well, um, it, if that is the case, uh, does anybody have a way to, like, pull that mon in the air away from them? For now, maybe we'll get some some warm rags, uh, put it on their head. Uh, I feel Ryoji shivering a bit. Mm -hmm. I'll get it. Start putting warm, like little towels on their forehead, um, kind of blanketing them up. After we get God. After we get them probably stabilized, we should probably take a journey out to see where our companions are. I guess we could. I mean, maybe 
like you can fly over quickly just to take a scan of the area. We could stay and watch them. You'd be faster if you did that. Or I could fly with you if you don't want to go alone. Is it I? Last time we were alone together, that had major consequences. Uh, major? That's not decided yet. It was like moderate, maybe. Minor, even possible. <laughs> Look, it's not really the matter, right? I don't really want to leave these two alone for too long. Uh, Reiko, do you... Do you... Beyond, we'll get to what you were doing, I guess, but is there anything you can do for these two? I don't have a means to to drain their exposure. I could if it was being cast on them, but it's already on them. Fuck. Purging potions may help, but if not, it's just time for it to ebb from them. And how long does the exposure dissipate? Uh, my best guess is that these levels, a few weeks. Weeks? We don't have weeks. No, we don't. I mean, I could help myself, my own exposure, my own overexposure to mana, but I need somebody who I could, or some people who I could put it in. Oh, I, I might be a fair conduit for it. I'm, man, it doesn't really flow through my... It never has. Um, if it would help you. Uh, just, it would open up options, but I still wouldn't really have a means to help them. It's not well. how my abilities work. I kind of stop it in transit, in movement. Redirect. Okay. Uh, well, I'd appreciate it anyway. Um, we'll make them comfortable. We should stay nearby, do what we can. Um, do you think it's a good idea, Skaya, that we possibly check, at least fly up? Maybe we'll see anything. They, they said they were going to try and flag ships down, right? We should be able to see that. Okay, I'll check it out. Do you feel okay going alone? Uh, I'd rather not go alone, but I can do it alone. I could flap with you. I'm not as fast as you are, but I can do it. Stares you dead in the eyes. Whatever I say, we're gonna do, okay? When I say leave, will you leave? Probably, yeah. If you're gonna do something stupid again, I'm gonna just let you do it. I don't want to be dragged into your consequences. Okay, deal. <sighs> and we flap together. Yep. Cause the two, uh, the two flappies, yeah. Mm -hmm. Flappy one and uh, flappy two. You flappy two. I don't two. really flap anything, but okay. Yikes! You hear that one, Navi? All right, there's no time for jokes, Navi. This is serious. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> right. Okay. I uh, I start leaving with Skya. Uh, I got to stealth us. First, so. <laughs> um, I'm gonna see if I can. Um, Unfortunately, I'm gonna see if I can uh, find track of uh, possibly where our uh, allies have fought. Uh. <laughs> At least that's. You said you wanted to. You wanted to track it down. You to track them down. You said. I think yeah, we, they said where, where they were going, right? Direction, though. They did? I think they, they. I think they said they were going southwest, if I'm not mistaken, Arcadum, to the beach. They said they were going towards the side um, to hope for like druids, the, the, the people from the the west side of the map, the continent, I believe. Hello. Are you muted? Okay. Hi, Arcadum. Oh, sorry, I was muted. Uh, that is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Okay. okay. So we have a general idea. Oh. Um. Alright, so Sky and I will go flap over there. Wait, hold on. I will. will what will you aid with? Oh, that was with me. Oh, okay, my bad. Making yeah. sure they're comfortable. Yeah. Um, okay, so the two of you take off into the sky, and you head in the relative direction that you were told that the others were going. Yeah. 
Okay. How long and how far do you want to go out? Uh, let me think here. Do you say like a mile out would be far enough? Books? I guess um, to understand, we, we want to go a, a good enough distance that we should be able to like see the beach. Um, so whatever that would mean for us, um, we want to go check that area. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Roll survival to check for traps not from allies, Navi. Uh, as you make your way down towards the beach, um, Skaya and Booker will see on the beach there is some torchlight. Okay. Uh, you will see that there is also the wreck, the wreckage of a ship. Huh. Another one upon the beach. However, this one, unlike the one that was uh, actually beached upon the, like, uh, got ahead of myself. Unlike the ship that was ran aground onto the beach that you saw before, this one is cracked in half like an egg across rocks in the shoal. Um, to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So the, there, are, there are rocks, which are just stone rocks, just mm -hmm. beneath the water surface that the ship has been crashed into. So the ship pieces are, are actually not on the beach. They're in the water, just in this, like, rocky crevice. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? What I'm trying to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And then you see that there are torches on the beach looking outwards, you suspect, towards that wreckage. Is there any lights on the wreckage? Can he lit torches on the boat? Uh, you do not see any lights on the boat. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we should fly. If we if we see the torch, like, do you want to fly over there, Sky, with me? We 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 should go tell them at least uh, what's going on yeah, here. Yeah, we should definitely. This is purely reconnaissance, so we should just let the team know before we decide to do anything. Okay. Like you mean, we we fly over to the, to Gare and them and tell them, or are you saying we go back? I, well, this is a pure reconnaissance. Say if that isn't them though, and we get in trouble, we can't really do anything about it. That's my fear. I guess so. So, I mean, we could risk it for the biscuit. I mean, if you would just go down there by yourself, since you're just a bat. Sure. Yeah, I could uh, if you if you want to go back and let them know, and I can go down to the torch, or you just wait for me. Whatever, I I kind of want to tell them though what's going on. Okay. See what they're up to. Go for it. Do you want to join me or are you chilling? I'm gonna chill up here for now. Okay. Uh, while I'm like in the air, I'm going to start flapping down. Okay. Here we go. You would fucking go. <clears throat> I'm flapping. I'm flapping around at the speed of sound. Ugh, fuck. Am I muted? I better be. No, you were not. <laughs> and I think you knew that you weren't. Yeah, you got me. I totally knew. I was, <laughs> I was dead. Did it all on purpose. You don't say. Yeah, got me. Bamboozled. Consider me, Yo, Taz. Consider me flabbergasted. Taz, yeah. remember what I said before the game started? That my... <laughs> I, really want, I really want to make a joke to that, but I can't. You can, you can. No, nobody will stop you. <laughs> Are you yes. flabbergasted? Do you remember what I told no. you before the session? Uh, no. <laughs> Wait. Unfortunate. Loads gun. Uh, a lot of things before this session, I'm sure. Is that a taped banana? All right, that's an inside joke. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? Maybe that's an impression of your life. What was that noise, Taz? <laughs> okay, that one, that was good. <laughs> Taz, I think he's making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Anyways. What's going on with you right now? <coughs> you guys okay? How what? How oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh? 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 That's too easy. That's... That... Oh? 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 Stop yeah. laughing. Yeah, Ryoji and Jackie just unconscious being like, ha, this is fun. Hmm. Sorry, I'm loading sorry, the map real should... quick. I'm sorry, I stress giggle. <laughs> same. Actually, same to books. He does that <laughs> a lot. Same. Same. <laughs> hey. Uh... I bet you this map is going to look epic. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, you know, I'm trying. I want to make sure that everybody has cool-looking maps. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes people go places that, uh, you know, take a little bit more prep. Like Broody. And then sometimes some people just say some shit like, Hey, let's go talk to the master of this tower. And then I'm mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. That seems good. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Like, then what? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, and then what? Uh. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm almost done. Me too. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yeah. What are you I was done just with? in the middle of... Telling Taz this great joke that I had to finish, but it was started before the session. You missed the first half. <laughs> the first. It, it involved it involved Ryoji and Jacket unconscious <laughs> and Booker in a room and Navi walked in. <laughs> right, Navi. Right, remember? I five. God damn. <laughs> God damn. He says. <laughs> what happens next? <laughs> 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 Jesus. Hey, he asked, right? He asked. <laughs> and here we go. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. I will... Where Where are you? Where are you on this? There you are. He down. He went. <sighs> oh yeah, Rico, you saw me turn into a bat and I had a huge flopping penis. Flopping around. <laughs> okay. It's integral to his character, which is why he's telling you. Thank you. He doesn't. He doesn't really have a lot of character, other than that. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he tries. Yeah, yeah. He tries his best. Thank you. But you know. You try so far, but you don't receive. All right. As Booker flies down towards the position of what he hopes to be his allies, I need you to make me a perception check. Alrighty. I'm perceiving. Okay. What? Why is that not... Uh, there's always something. Why is that not any light? Oh, I know why. Okay. Uh. And here we go. Let me know when you're loaded. Oh boy. I'm in. I'm flapping. Beachhead, nice. my 
loaded up. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah, I've been. <laughs> Alright. Oops. I with, your, to move. with your perception check, you can see these shapes in the mist down here. And it looks like they're looking towards the water. Outwards towards the water over here. Are they like saying anything? What does it look like they're doing? It looks like they're discussing about what to do next. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna start flapping over. Flap, 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 flap. I see nothing else with that. Nothing else in the area. Nothing else. Cool. I'm gonna start flapping. Till I just start piercing into the light. Okay, when you get to about there. Hold up. Sorry, I'm double checking timelines and stuff. You can see when you get to the edge of the light that Gara will call out, Whenever you're ready! Soktek will throw a rope around Gara's waist and will throw it to Sergio, who will leap off over the side and will start to rappel down towards the water. Joka summons, Joaka summons fire in her hand to help provide additional light, while Antoinette stays on ready. No one seems to have noticed you yet. Cool. I'm gonna flap down the ground and then transform back. You guys, get Saki! Hey! Antoinette turns, about to throw some magic at you. No, 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 no! The Silver Star! The Silver Star! <laughs> Saki! Sokteck... So so Booker? Yeah, Saki, Saki. I, I flapped over here. What's going on? We we think we found survivors. Soktek, help! Indeed. We think we've seen somebody in the waters. Young Sergio has went over the side. <clears throat> I'm holding him in place. He's quite the heavy lad. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. All right, sweet. Uh, well, we have not as good news, but uh, this is good. This is good. Um, All right, uh... Uh, how many people are there, you think? I kind of look over the edge to see what they see. Uh, you can see that there are a few dark forms floating on some crates, and Sergio is currently tying them to the rope. Do I hear anybody down there? You don't hear anything, you just see movement in the shadows. What is it, Light? You said you had news? Uh, y yeah, well, I won't get into all of it real quick, but, um, it, we went out there... Well, we got transported somewhere, and then got transported back, and then uh, we fought some really weird creature, and uh, we found somebody. Um, a, a woman was out there. We, we took her back, but we got two down companions. Uh, they're covered in this this mana. Uh, the exposure, the one called it. Uh, uh, we can't get them to wake up. All right, calm down, lad. One thing at a time. Help me pull this Sergio up, see if we can't save these people, and then we'll attend to your comrades. Okay. All right. Take Sergio, a look behind us. Sergio will pull on the rope as Gur starts to pull it, as Joaka helps, and Antoinette lends her strength as well. And as they pull them up, you will see. One moment, currently loading. Checking my timelines. Making sure that everything is as it should be. Yes. Saki, I saw an elephant. What? Yep. 
this fucking elephant man and one of them fuck it. One of them fucked it? Yeah, well, they, I think they are, uh, or the elephant was jealous. I don't know. This other what? guy sticks his dick in a barrel. It's crazy. I met a bunch of Marriott of adventurers. It was great. I'll tell you all about it. Oh. <laughs> okay. This halfling hit on me. <laughs> Zoctec doesn't know what to say. <laughs> Booker is uncomfortable with silences. Uh, he doesn't uh, get it. Can I swoop in? Negative. Negative, okay. Negative Ghost Rider, the patterns are full. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh. and... Okay. I'm keeping there watch. There we go. Sergio will eventually come up to the top, holding a woman in his hands. She is wearing dark reddish maroon brown clothing and a large hat. But even unconscious, she has a fierce countenance as she is pulled up onto the shore. Sorry, Foundry is being difficult. Trying to get it to load. Swear to God, if it's who fucking if it's fucking chair blaster girl, I'm gonna fucking shoot her in the head. And <laughs> see what happens. <coughs> All right, and you will see this individual appear alongside Sergio. God damn it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Throw him back, boys. <laughs> All right, that. Jorka, can you handle this? Jorka will nod and will lift the other woman and hold her over her shoulder. Sergio leaps back up, Gara ties the rope, hands it back to Soctek. Quickly, we must make it back to base. All right, let's go, let's go. Alright, I'll move you. I'll move you. I'll, I'll move you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I try to wave to Skya, like the, the hands, you know, like go, like you see us running, if you can see me, Skya. Can I? <clears throat> Eventually, you see him and Gur uh, move underneath, and the two of you. Uh, return from whence you came. Let me load that map. Drive. You know what? It's fine. I'm just going to load everybody in right here because Boundary is going really slow for some reason. Yeah, no, why did it have to be her, man? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to fucking. Oh my god. What do you mean? Oh, no, no reason. It is the, what the story <laughs> demands. Of course. Well, good. <laughs> Hope she likes dice. Alright. Everyone should be back loaded in. Yeah. Uh, Sock Tech will rush back in uh, after giving a quick uh, snoot kiss <gasps> to Skya. He'll run back in and immediately move over to uh, Ryoji and Jacket and start to tend to them. Gur will approach. Reiko, is that you? Oh. Hey. Hi. Well, <laughs> I thought everyone else had been lost. He'll offer a hand. Uh, she will take it. He will give you a dwarfy I... shake. Mm -hmm. It is good to see that you survived. I'd say our motley crew has grown quite a bit now, as you might have you might have noticed. What happened? As Gur comes and stands over uh, Soktek's position over Ryoji and Jacket. They, uh, one of them touched magic water, then the other one touched another who was uh, overfilled with uh, exposure, so you know, kind of domino effect. Well, 
Well, I it washed like ashore, that. and yes, I was wandering through the the uh, mushroom forest when these people found me. Sure, will nod. They're fine folk, they are. Strong and hardy. Stone and brass. He will look down. Soktek. How bad is it? Soktek not seen this before. Magic is strange. Sticks to them. Like poison. Poison in their mind. They are sleeping but no dreams. Soktek not sure how to solve it. Soktek will try to use spell. Soktek think you should get back, though, just in case he wrong. Do we think more mana it would help? Sergio will stand right there and will say, Can I aid you? Soktek will nod. Try to take mana Sergio places hands over jacket while Soktek instructs him what to do uh, Gur will respectfully stand back as instructed Soktek will slowly carefully begin to weave the mana off of jacket and Ryoji painstakingly slow And then Soktek will kind of grunt with frustration. Oh! I need materials! Soktek need things like purge potion! Anyone have? Uh, let me check this one's pockets. I checked the new girl's pockets. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, immediately <laughs> mugs. <laughs> uh, you find an insidious quarterstaff. Uh, you oh, find great. a set of dark and foreboding robes. Great. Within it, you see a human skull embedded okay. with a black onyx gem. <laughs> you see two potions of greater purging. You see a potion of greater healing. You also see three stalks of silver salt. And then finally, you also see, let's see here, uh, a wooden badge, which you recognize as the markings of the Western Rebellion upon. Hmm. Awesome. I take everything but the badge, and okay. I'm going to. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I, I think this is, I started fumbling the kind of, I think this is a, th these ones here, yeah? Hand him the yes, purging yes, potions. Yes. Sorry, all right, all right. I'm holding a bunch of evil shit. <laughs> Fucking take it back here. Good. You even took her robes. She's naked now. <laughs> Joaka doesn't say anything, but doesn't think that was wise. Uh, Sock tech. I didn't well, take her clothes. Well, her robe is her clothing. So do you not take that? I, I no, I don't take her clothes. <laughs> Fuck okay. you, Navi. Okay. <laughs> Piece of shit. Tech will take his potion, the greater purging one, and will place it within Jacket's mouth, slowly massaging the liquid down into his throat and into his body, casting restore uh, lesser restoration in the hopes that it might remove whatever malady is upon him. It seems. That Soktek, with the assistance of a greater purging potion, successfully reduces Jacket's exposure where he is no longer critical. Seeing that he has made some progress, he will move quickly to Ryoji and repeat the same effect. Soktek will stand and nod. Soktek, thank you, Sergio. Of course. Soptech think they just need to rest now. Soptech looks exhausted. The magics he has used is taking quite the toll upon him. You did good, Soptech. lad. 
Good. Suck are you okay? Suck is fine. Just tired. Perhaps we all need a bit of rest. Go on then. I shall take first watch. Joaka will add the mysterious stranger to the bedding next to the other uh, injured and will kind of cop a squat here where she can keep an eye on them. Okay, hold on. What are, what are you doing back here? I'm putting up, I'm looking at her weird shit in, pri in private. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, look at her weird shit. Okay. Oh, look at the okay. humans. Oh, God. <laughs> what, what are you going to do with that skull? <laughs> looks around mischievously. Okay, that's an athletic Eyebrows. check. <laughs> oh, nice. It's the same modifier. Uh, you have no idea oh, yeah. what any of this does. Mm. I better go tell Navi. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you know? <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Okay. Well, do we risk the long rest, guys? I think we need it. Yeah, we yeah, have. To, I yeah. think we have to. <clears throat> I want to gather up my party. I go over to Broody, just kind of giving him the elbow. <clears throat> we need to repair armaments first. Oh yeah, if you could prepare my my. Um, I, I turn and my back is just fucking destroyed. Yeah, I think my got a tan. The back. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just uh, writing in his journal. Dear right. diary, today <laughs> OP was pretty cool. <laughs> I Wait, guess... did, they did they have a session today? What? Uh... Never mind. <laughs> Yeah. Brody, come on. Come I'm on. gonna show, yeah. oh, <coughs> follow me. Uh, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna fucking go to Reiko too. Um just kind of a hey, could you uh accompany us for a moment here, Reiko? Uh, yes. What's uh, you know what, sir? Uh you'll see, you'll see. Uh, Sergio, you can join it too if you like. Just a little group meet. Oh yeah. Come on. Sky now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we gotta talk about something. Come on. Oh, okay. I, I barge into Navi's room <laughs> with everybody. <laughs> he, uh, he, Navi, perfect. He what are you writing? It's nothing. I'm sorry. What are you writing? What did you say, Steven? He invited Sergio. I don't know if he came with him. He, he does not go with you. He's too busy yeah. doing other shit. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. What are you writing, Navi? Oh, it's, it's just things. Um, oh, cool. what, what, uh, what's the matter? Um, all right, do you guys remember B Broody and Sky, at least? Do you remember that, that, that woman out there? The, oh, the one I... they just brought in? You remember oh, her, yeah? She was creepy. Oh, no. Remember what she did to that chair? Oh, she, okay. dude, she turned a chair into dust. Sky oh, just looked across for her head being like, why? <laughs> I, I found some really when I was looking for the purging potions on I found a really weird shit um, and I pull out the, the human skull with the onyx gem in it and the insidious staff, staff. I what the... gave <laughs> you took from her well Why? I was looking for the potion I mean she's what? not that she There's... don't need it right now is she some kind of a demon summoner I, I don't know uh, Rachel, can you make heads or tails of this what is that? Uh, I will arcana those objects to see if I can indeed make heads or tails of it. Sure thing! Can I aid with Jack? You Hawkins? have no fucking idea, and no, you cannot aid. Can I try rolling? <laughs> sure. Let's see. Arcana. You have no idea what any of those things do. Darn it. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't want to keep it from her. It's her stuff. Fuck, if only Ryoji or Jacket were up right now. I just. She gives me the bad vibes. That's just plain and simple. I, I wanted to know what you guys think about all this. I mean. I mean. 
If that's obsidian, I could use that for some arrow tips. Well, we should just take her. St- She's gonna be mad when she gets up, and you know, we just take her shit and be like, "Ah, well, we needed it." You know, it's then she's gonna really gonna fuck us over. Fair enough. And what if it's sentimental? Yeah, so... I think we give it back, but I think we we should know about it and then ask her. You know, fairly. That's all. Okay. What, what do you think, Broody? I think we need to identify it first. Well. The only two people, I mean, maybe we can cook Saki or... Oh, what about that Antoinette girl? She's always spinning that magic around, you know? Uh, maybe. Can someone go get her? Hmm. Alright, I'll, I'll get go. her. Alright, go, go, yeah, go get us, guy. Uh... <laughs> I, I have a part brewing if, uh... <clears throat> if we just... I. Uh, we need you for a moment. Do you mind coming here real quick? Uh, very well. What were you saying, Navi? Um, I, I don't know if we, if we should, um, display this to everyone to see. I mean, sure, it, it, it looked very suspicious, uh, but it, it is still her belongings. For sure. And we're, we're going to give them back. Uh, we just want to identify them first. Uh, Antoinette, uh, thank you for joining us. Um, I won't waste too much of your time there. The new one you brought in, you remember her. Yeah, remember when we were at that tavern? I, I saw you all speaking with one another. You remember her, yeah? So at this point, Antoinette enters and she will say, um, You required me for something? Yeah. Do you remember when we were originally, ah, you know what, here, um, the new girl that you brought in, um, she had some strange objects on her. We were hoping you could identify them. We plan to give them back, but we just want to know what they are. And I present them to her. Uh, she will kind of scratch her head. Uh, yeah, so I'm not really, I don't know about that stuff. I just kind of do it. What? Really? <laughs> she doesn't have Arcana trained. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Never mind. That's it. Thank you. Oh, alright. Thank you, Antoinette. Fuck. I think maybe Sergio might know something about it. D seems to be well known in magic. Just gonna one by one bring people in this <laughs> <Yeah>. room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, this conversation could ha- be happening out there, so we can ask the group what's going yeah. on. Yeah. No, no, that's that's oh, way too easy. Nah, that's fucking weird. Okay. Uh, where's Sergio? Oh, there he is. Sergio! <laughs> so, right. so Wait, I thought you were going to get... Okay. You will see that what? Sergio is currently uh, repairing some more of the... Um, actually, he's doing maintenance on his equipment. As you approach, he will place down his gauntlet that he's working on. Yes? Um, we need you to check some stuff. Would you be okay with that? Sure. Okay, follow me. No, we can't go out there and say, oh, hey, Sergio. Hey, Sergio. Sergio looks uncomfortable. (laughs) (laughs) Sergio, you know, Sergio um, will look around Navi's room. <laughs> yes, you... Why does this have to happen in Navi's room? <laughs> it's gotta, trust me. S- Sergio, listen, we'll make this quick for you. The new girl that came in there, we've we've seen her before. There's some bad vibes. She had this stuff on her. Uh, is there any way you can identify it? I show him. Took her possessions? It's, we're, we're taking them to observe them, and we're gonna give them back. That's I'm very odd. Alright, yeah, no <laughs> right, he'll take a look. And then, he'll, and then he'll look up. I have no idea what those do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to bother you, sir. It yeah. seems that they're magical. Yeah, you're not the only one. Alright. Well, thanks, Sergio. 
He's Sorry, gonna, Sergio, for bothering us. He's going to go back to fixing his gauntlets. <laughs> I can't. All right. There's one more you could ask. Hmm. <laughs> Dare we? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Sky. <laughs> Sky, go get. Go, go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh. Uh, Gur? Wait, why are you calling me? Wait, <laughs> again. Oh, what? <laughs> Gur will look up. Uh, yes. Uh, do you mind looking at something for us, please? I'm on watch, dear. Uh, I'll switch. I'll switch uh, watch for you for a little bit. Uh, very well. Uh, okay. Look at what? Is uh, something the matter? We're just trying to figure out what some items are. Um, Booker will explain. Very well. I take watch while he goes there. All right. As you're all kind of talking about everything, the incredibly lawful Gur Braun Shadow will enter Navi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, how's it going? Uh, he will look at Navi. Apologies for my intrusion. I was told I was needed. Oh, uh, it's. It, uh, <laughs> it's already, it, everyone already intruded in here, so not really much of much of my stories here. <laughs> yeah, Navi, why don't you go ahead and tell them why we needed them? What? what um. Uh, okay. Uh. So. Um. Booker. Um. Uh, seems to. Uh, have. Uh, taken. Uh, the Yo. possession of the of the look of the oh, right. new person. So. Um, and has he now? Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, all right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> that, that's enough, Navi. That's enough. All right, yeah, yeah. Oh. Listen, do you remember at the tavern when we first interviewed? Yes, I believe so. You, do you remember after that? You went to your own table. You spoke with most of the people out there, including the girl you just brought in. Yes, I recognize her. What's your initial um, thoughts? Of her when you first met her. He's gonna, he's gonna incite this. <laughs> and then he will say, What have you got behind your back? <laughs> I got her stuff. You have stolen from her? Taking I'm the potions temporary. for those in need is one thing. But Listen, why, okay. why have you taken her possessions? I, f I will fully explain. I am. Um, the reason is, when we first met her, I had a real bad feeling about her. And when I checked through her stuff, I found some things that alarmed me, and it made me concerned for our mission. So I did borrow them from I have them, I'm gonna give them back, but I want to identify them before giving them back, and I will show him the fucking human skull with a gem in it. Insidious as that may be, you mustn't act like a Susano. The fuck is that? He will then take the skull and he will look at it. Fucking Susa, what? No. Your prejudice guides you. And that is not always a good thing. I met an Aeronaut recently. And it was from our conversation that reminded me that despite the rivalry in our races, there is much wisdom and to understanding that which frightens you. This skull, while morbid it may be, is nothing more than a foci, most likely for the apostatic magic that this woman uses. I also recognize it to be of a druidic touch. I believe they call them blight druids, although I will admit my knowledge of the western elvish people is limited. He will hand the skull back to Booker. I will hope you will do the right thing and return that to where it belongs. And perhaps we should speak with her before we damn her. Yeah, you're right. Navi, you should go put the stuff back on her. Gur, Wait, what? Why turn, you? Gur will the nod as if, as if his wisdom has been accepted. And then he will place his weapon back on his belt and will leave, not knowing that Booker has already seen all his gear before in that same inn. <laughs> <laughs> Sweats Gary, a lot. Get back to your shift, please. So, 
you took you took it from her from her, so you should you know be the one to take you know. Take nah. Her yeah, you're right, Boo. Uh, yeah, I was just making a joke, Navi. Uh, I'll, I'll oh, go fuck okay. it. I'll go put. I'll go put back the human skull that's apparently not suspicious. Hold on. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> and then... I'm Start guys... putting shit back. Sir, we'll Sorry. keep an eye on you as you do it, and then nod. I looked at him, smile like yeah, and thumbs up. And it's... <laughs> Girl will come and stand back outside, yep. and continue his way. I'll wave goodbye to Navi. <laughs> wave goodbye to Navi, alone at last in his own room. <laughs> uh, I go back to Navi's room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Navi, what do you write? Hey, Navi, what do you write? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just, you know, uh, our, our encounters, and uh, I have some stuff, uh, even a letter to to sent to my uh, family um as well Wait. but uh yeah it's it's not much if you need your uh armor repaired i will be repairing in the back with sergio oh. yeah i need yes. my armor repaired too Navi, can I smoke in here? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> All right. Do you mind repairing our armor too? That's seven. Uh, Arcadum, I have quick fix. Can I use that in this situation too? Say again. I have quick fix. Can I use that in this situation? Yeah. Okay. Look at you, little halfling boy. Just repairing <laughs> people's stuff. Oh, yep. What a good little halfling boy so, he is. That'll be for Sky, uh, uh, and then okay. use another one for Raikos. Mm -hmm. I only need two AR at best. Sky will save a tech as he rests a little bit. <laughs> Softech will look up. <clears throat> what? Sorry, Softech was thinking. It's okay. You can continue to think. I just want to be here with you. He'll nod. And he'll go back to meditating. Alrighty, guys. So, everybody's doing their repairs, and you would like to participate in a long rest. Correct? <laughs> yes, please. Confirming is... actions. <laughs> I would like to also anoint my armor with my priest coat. Okay. Brady, yeah. do you have enough to give me two AR? Two AR. Um, yeah, I got uh, six more charges of smithing. Thank you. So I'll do that. So I'm anointing my armor. And then I'll also do that for... Yeah, but... That's for Booker's armor. Thank you, thank you. Lilith, did you need anything? Uh, and then rest. I also want to anoint my one of my scimitars. So. So it sounds like people are taking a long rest. Yes. Okay. I believe so. Yeah. Alright, well, you guys, uh, you guys don't have to worry about watches, because you have NPCs that can do that for you. Um, yep. So, we will go ahead and move stuff forward. So, everybody long rest. Those of you that are unconscious with exposure at 8 will not reduce your exposure, but you may also click long rest, but you are still unconscious come the morning. I'll be right back, bathroom. Man, I really wish fucking the two Arcana people are awake for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, that was so fucking brutal. Hey, I got the arcana, I just did bad at roll sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> That's alright. Just another classic Silver Star caper. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like... 
<laughs> How what? It's just everybody rushing in your room. That is the best. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. No, no I'm. I'm I, 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 I don't think I was paying attention. What, no, I was just saying it was funny how we were all rushing in your room. We were trying to write a letter. Oh, like, dear, dear oh, yeah, tribe, yeah. I I had a good day today. <laughs> <laughs> I met the sagas, sagas, and Tullus. And then we got teleported. <laughs> <laughs> and then I met someone from Ancients and Ages. <laughs> you know, all it takes is one action to nuke this entire room. Oh my god, no! <laughs> and what, one action is all it takes. <laughs> oh, you mean, uh... And we're all gone. <laughs> Making making someone go over the edge of their exposure. <laughs> no, that's just my really bad chair. Oh, I didn't mean to chair badly. Oh lord. Alrighty. I agreed. The mirror sky. Well, we got somebody else here now. So that's interesting. Uh, does anybody else need their armor repaired? Probably Navi. No, I have a uh, monk leathers, which uh, right. act. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good now. I just need the two. Okay. What else can you make, Broody? Probably not uh, much. Yeah, I, uh, I got three more charges on priest kit for anointing or cleansing, uh, curse or corruption. How long does the anointed last? Is that just like you add a property to something? That's its, it's trick. It just adds it. Okay. Did you add anointed to a boat? <gasps> uh, I'm pretty sure that's. I believe so. I'm pretty Ooh. sure there is a time limit on that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a whole day or like eight hours, something like that. Is it? It's until or your next long next rest. Oh, okay. Okay. Also, so it is time. You... Yeah. Sorry if you guys hear my cat. <laughs> oh, right. I did not. Oh, I just heard it. I heard an animal. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, it's has. Yeah. Remember that joke I said before stream. <laughs> are you visualizing it, Lilith, right now? I know what you guys are talking about. I was death and nerd that whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you just described an assault. That's all you did. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, um, what are you saying? That's not a joke? It doesn't say that the time limit on the wiki. That's that's a big man question. Yeah. Um, on the wiki, it just says that you add the anointed property. Oh fuck! Can you believe that's just been an hour already? Right uh, has anybody <laughs> else from like Taz or Lilith? Have you guys used that? Or has someone in your party used that before? Used what? Used what? Before. Like um to add the anointed with the uh, smithing kit. Nope. Like the trick. I'm pretty sure Rhea. Um. Nope. Or maybe maybe not. Rhea had upkept, which okay. is the uh, smithing. Then no, kit. I don't think I don't think my other party had everything. Okay. Oh, you can so just. So actually, we don't know if uh, the priest kit's uh, anointment only lasts a day or not. We'll just ask him when he gets back. We'll figure it yeah. out. Yeah, because cool. it, it just says that it has the anointed property. It doesn't give a time limit at all. <laughs> hey, folks. Yeah, what up? <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Poker secret. It's that, wait, he, wait. it's that he takes inches. <laughs> what? No, what? That's why it's so big. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, 
That's why it's so adorably big. Because it was eight inch. You're like a vampire. <laughs> oh, wait, I just when I suck blood, it just gets all bulbous like a mosquito that was been sucking it for like a, 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 ten minutes. It's just all fucking <laughs> like a big water balloon. <laughs> you can tell the chat about the joke that you said earlier. There's too many layers. Oh yeah. To the burrito. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I need to go get right. or something. It's only two layers. All right. Yeah. Throw this plate away. Cool. RP with uh, Reiko actually a little bit. Oh, fucking come on over here. Yeah. Fucking backstory drops. Reiko. I got Reiko smoking a cigarette, walking out of Navi's room. <laughs> and I walk over to Reiko. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, sorry about all that, Reiko. Listen, it, things can get a little wild over here with us. Um, So, uh, what are you doing out there alone? I was in a shipwreck, washed up, and I had to try to find my way to something, anything. Is Arcadum back? I ended up stumbling across those creatures, and no, I don't think he is. Well, I guess consider yourself lucky that, and it, it works beneficial. We we kind of needed somebody with your skill set. Um, I guess it's fortuitous for both of us. Um, I'm glad you're alive. Uh, as you may have seen in the uh, battle, I'm very hard to kill. I I did notice that. Um, and that's why I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that we can regroup as one. Um, I don't know if you know anything about this isle, but... It holds some dark, ancient secrets, and we're here to uncover it. Um. Well, that's part of why I'm here. I was I was sent on behalf of the, the, the Druid Circle in the city of oh. Mars to to investigate these eyes, the the first grove, or I don't know if I'd call it that. First they grove. Are... Hmm. Well. It works out quite well in this way, um, as we have it now, what we understand anyway. It seems there's some central points on the island that we need to explore. We need these keys or something to get to the, the center of it all. Um, that's where we're going to find where all this started. Keys? Uh, it might be... Yeah, it might be physical, metal. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but it, the, that's the best that we are working with right now. Uh. Yeah, and once we succeed, once we succeed, um, I'm supposed to plant this, and he'll pull out a strange acorn. Uh, this was given to us by um someone who's been watching over us. Uh, once we. Restore this place where you're supposed to plant this strange acorn. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Well, I mean, I think I've seen acorns before, but not one like that. I'm back. I don't think so. Hey, welcome back. Oh, there you go. Booker just showed me the acorn. Do I know anything about that, Arcadum? Make a nature check, please. Make a nature check. You know, it is certainly an artifact of druidic power. It surges with primal energy. Its purpose is growth and life. But it's beyond what you've seen before. Whatever it is, it is most precious. Where did you get that? Um, it's a bit of a long story, but long story short, um... A friend of mine now uh, watched over. It's actually why we're even out here in the first place. We got tipped off about this place, and it seems like these 
individuals, adventurers like us, are doing great things for this continent, and this is one stepping stone in that direction. So, yeah. yeah. I realize you just go to be the equivalent of, like, a, a, a religious relic, yes? Ward's shrewd kind. But the acorn? Yes. I mean, I knew it was important, but I... Okay. But the power it has is unlike anything I have ever witnessed. Oh. Oh, um, I plan to take good care of it, unless you think you'd be better suited to handle this kind of thing, if it's in your wheelhouse. Hmm. You mean I wouldn't want anything bad happening to it, but... I think it's fine if you hold on to it for the time being. All right. I think there's still some things we should talk about, but uh, I'm getting tired. I'm going to go for a smoke. He'll put out his smoke and then light up another one. I... Hmm. Hey, I'm He's probably going to end up killing himself with those. Hey, I can't stop uh, smoking. Broody, did you have uh, questions on your kit? Uh, I sent the DM to Arcadum. Okay, cool. Okay, Rina, were you, uh, did you have a question? No. Okay. Hey, Arcadum. Would my Miss Stealth Communion affect my exposure from taking the long rest? No. Okay, just want to make sure. Okay, yeah. They, they still haven't come to. <laughs> Soctek, looking down at the unconscious individuals, will shake his head. Soctech thinks it'll take some more time before they are ready. Yes. The problem is on this, on these islands, well, how much of that do we have? So to be clear, you guys haven't finished your long rest yet, right? This is all evening, or are we in the morning? I mean, I guess you, you did tell us that we could long rest, but we were while you were gone, we were just like doing some RP. Okay, so so the answer is no, we have not long rest. Uh, Sock Tech will just um, keep tending to them. Sock Tech doesn't know anything about that. Sock Tech always thought that he was going to run out of time. Maybe not anymore. You guys want to push time forward the long rest? We are already yeah. long rested. Well, he just said that we, in case that we confirm the long rest now. Mm -hmm. All right, so moving time forward. All right. Yeah. Moving time forward to the morning. Uh, everyone finishes their long rests. Everyone's fully healed. Um, is at this point that Moritaria will awaken. <coughs> what the fuck? Soktek knows that his visage is disturbing. Soktek is here to help. Get away from me! He will run back up. She'll look around with crazed eyes, slowly start to stand, wobble and fall back down. What just happened? 
Perhaps I might be able to explain. Gur? It is a pleasure to meet you again. Yes. <clears throat> it seems that you've been shipwrecked. Shipwrecked. But I am not drowned. Are we here? If you're referring to the <clears throat> island, then yes. You have successfully made it here. This is good. Good. Who are all these people? These are your comrades now, whether you wish for it or not. For the island is filled to the brim with perils. Perils that will devour us all if we do not work together. I know that you are not the sort of friendly dispositions, but I'm afraid that you will find that you will be short on options. Therefore, I propose that we leave all past disagreements and tense and terse exchanges behind us. Gur will offer a hand. Let us start anew, and together we may yet conquer this place. Moritaria will reach out and will grasp Gur's hand as she is steadied up to her feet. Very well, dwarf. I shall attempt what you propose. Very good. Now, where are the others? The others are outside. Could you please gather them? I think we of have course. a lot. We have a lot to discuss. I think Book is taking an eight hour smoke. <laughs> you guys, it's time to bring it in. Here, we're going to have a meeting. All right. Hi, you coming, Sergio? Oh, shit. He's up. He's up. <laughs> All right. As everyone gathers, uh, Gur will say, <clears throat> Mr. Booker, I was wondering if you might enlighten us on just what you've discovered. What happened? I see. I'll make it as clear and concise as I can. When we, when you decided to head to the beach and I said we were going to um, make some discoveries, we sang the song that was given to me by someone I call Watcher M, and it seemed to transport us to a place that I still don't know really where. Um, but we spoke with these individuals. We spoke with Watcher M and his companions. We transferred some information between the two of us. He spoke of a strange and he's hesitant to say this with certain people in the room, but um, he will. A strange laboratory near the island that could be worth checking out. And we told them about certain individuals that we have found on this island. Once all was said and done, um, we were ejected from this place. We found ourselves in the midst of the island where we met Reiko. We fought off a creature that was manipulating magic in the sky. And, well, I gestured to Jack and Roshi. We came back with these two. That's pretty much the rundown. And this... individual that is hunting you. Yes. Would you elaborate upon that? I suppose so. Um... As we finished our fight outside the windmill, Skya and I would stay back as the rest of the party would take the down folk back. Sky and I would investigate the windmill, where we saw at the top uh, an individual, white hair. They had a strange tome. Um, Skya had the idea to retreat, and maybe she was right. But I convinced her to go back, and 
as we did, that's when she spotted us, and thanks to this guy, I survived. Um, but her and that disturbing tome are out there, and they're looking for us. Actively hunted. That's right. And this laboratory, this this Watcher M. The information mm -hmm. that you've gathered from them, how trustworthy of it do you think it truly is? Well, yeah, if it wasn't for this Watcher M, I wouldn't be out here in the first place. I would have never met you. None of this would be. So, as trustworthy as that can get you, Very well. And with all of the information provided, I believe it is time that we come up with a proper plan of action. So far, we have been on the back foot, so to speak. But now, we have recovered our armaments, and our numbers have grown. If we are going to be hunted, as you say, then perhaps it is best that we take up a more offensive formation this laboratory as you put it you believe that it to be center to the operations here well from what i am to understand of what watch m showed me it's actually and i guess correct me if i'm wrong arcadum but i remember it being off door um like east of the island of mana where the vault is marked on the map yeah That is where it is marked, yes. Is that off of the island, or is that still on the island? You don't know. Okay. Let me think. Um, but we do have the location marked. They did share that with us. So I will um, look to gear. Well, we've got some markings. Um, at least where to go, we have a general idea. But... I'm not sure the journey's intake, um, what it might take, how secure it is. I just know it exists. Perhaps it is time, instead of us waiting to be caught by this thing hunting us, I propose that we pack our camp, put it upon our backs, and we move into a, an offensive focus it is time we struck back and a mighty blow against the enemies upon this island and i propose that we do it together it will be more difficult for us to move undetected but i dare say that with our newly found strength we may just be able to succeed presuming of course that these two boys are able to be restored to fighting order i think it is clear that we can no longer dawdle. Caution with this creature hunting us. No longer an option. What say you, Mr. Booker? see. Well, I think what you say is true, and it could be fortuitous. Um, if I could, I want to hear some new voices. There's many companions here that I value the opinions as much, and I want to go around here. Indeed. Speak as you see fit. They'll start looking around to the group. I do agree with the... Uh, with his plan on uh, being on the offensive. Offense is my specialty. Yes. I think we should be on the attack. What about you, Skya? Be on the attack? Well, that's an idea, for sure. Oh, I just can't stop thinking about that giant crater that it made. Yeah. This isn't necessarily a weak being. 
But if you see it best, I guess we'll go with it. If we are going around and stating each other's opinions, um, Moritaria, was it? Yes, that is my name. You recall, you, do you recall, um, myself, maybe Skya, Brutus, um, went yes, the interview. Yes, I remember you. Yeah, okay. Um, I know last time when we spoke, um, you know, we had very few questions. If I could, now that we're out here, I want to place everything on the table. Um, first off, I want to tell you that when you were unconscious, I went through your stuff. Um, mostly to, we needed the purging potions you had, and I did take them for our allies. She will oh. cast Inflict Wounds into her hand. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, Gur will place his hand on her shoulder. My dear, remember our discussion. He is a thief! He stole from me and admitted it is so! He only used the potions to save his comrades. And may I remind you that we used our own resources to help you as well. She will then look through her stuff. I understand your anger. You have every right to be as such, but when we're out here, everything is everybody's. We're barely living by the skin of our teeth out here, and if you're going to be a part of this, we're going to need that trust from you as well. You speak to me of trust? You've stolen from me! I did take the potions. You're all right. That much I do owe you, but we needed them. You shall be compensated once we are able to return to civilization. Thane's honor demands it. Oh, enough with your honor, dwarf. Fine. I understand the desperate nature of our situation. Touch my things without my permission again. And I will not be so forgiving. You shake her hand as the magic goes away. Well, continue. You were leading up to something. Very well. Boundary has been made. Respected. Now, if we could, it seems like everybody else has made their opinions clear. Um, if I could ask, uh, what is your business with the Isle of Men? My Everybody is clear, but theirs. My business... To look over towards um, the, the girl. And she will state. I am here as a contingency. To ensure that. The interests of my people are upkept at the activities here. And to provide assistance if possible. And it seems that much assistance is required. Indeed. Oh, this is good. Um, would you mind, uh, who are your people? Joe, Joe Blink. Is it not obvious? No. <laughs> I'm shrugging. She will lift her sleeve up, revealing druidic tattoos. Oh. I looked at uh, Reiko. Mm -hmm. Are there any more questions that you have? Or shall we move on with our actual plan? I believe so. It looks like still a couple of our comrades are down. Um, it would be best if we had them on their feet, but I don't I know how long we them. can wait. Oh, yeah, shit, all right. Okay. They are blighted. 
Tark Tech will come over. What? Bl blighted? They have been induced by the weird. Their mana is working against them. It is simple in order to cure them. Do you have an animal nearby? Or any one of you that has the capability of absorbing mana? I mean, I can, but I am already at my limit with that. Very well. I'll do it myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just want the that? mental image. All right, she will place the staff, her staff, on Jacket, and will begin to drain the life out of him. Oh, what? What? <laughs> what are you? What are you doing? You are a cleric, yes. Uh, Sock tech has. Yes, heal him then. Huh. <laughs> ah! What is your min uh, minimal exposure jacket? Zero. Taken care of. He'll place her staff on Ryoji. What is your minimal exposure, Ryoji? Five. Because I'm mana whatever. Mana touch. This one's mana is strange. Strong. But unwieldy like a river. They should make a recovery now. Let them rest. They will probably need another day. Good. It will take us at least a day to pack the camp. Well, that is our plan, is it? To strike out and attack at some random building? Uh, dungeon? What? Where are we going? Sky would like to pull up. A fine oh, question. Go on. I would like uh, Skylands to pull out her map. This is what Watcher M gave us as I pull out the map. <laughs> okay, time to look at the map. You guys like maps? Oh, I, fucking lo I know a guy who loves maps. The map. Yeah? And you know a guy who loves maps? <laughs> Is he a no? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Oh, uh, oh, conformance about tier or something. Oh, 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 I like that. Mm, yeah, show me the vault, baby. It's just loading at 99% for me. I am also at 99%. There oh, hell yeah. yeah. 99. That's looking pretty good. I am loaded. Alrighty. The little dots here. Got some keys around here. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Like some that. Yeah. Some crosses. Yep. Some squigs. Some X marks the spots. Kind of right. like that. Oh yeah. All right. So the map's up. I guess we can go above yeah. board now. What's your guys' plan? 
Well, it sounds like um, if we're going to go through with this, then we will. We're gonna move camp over to the vault, assuming, and that and that's why I was confused, I guess, because when I look at it here, from what uh, Watchram showed us, is it, I wasn't sure if this is part of the island or not, or if this is like somewhere we had to sail. Um, you don't know. That's why I haven't answered directly. Okay, so I guess that's something that we need to figure out. I guess. Um, <laughs> Basically, what I need from you is a confirmation that the party is going to attempt to do that content. And then I will prepare the maps for that content. There's I mean I, I just I just need to know what your plan is. Right. It sounded like most people ag agreed to Gare's plan, right? Unless anybody yeah. else wants yeah. to speak up now. Yeah, I well, agree. Yeah. If it, um, if we it's all agreed to Gare's plan. by land though, or do we have to take a boat? To we don't know boat? that. We yeah, that's the part we don't I, I, know. I literally just oh. went over that task. Right. <laughs> so, at, at worst, it sounds like we'll get over there as far as we can, and if we need to, then, you know, we'll have to figure that out, but it sounds like most people are down. But I didn't, we didn't get to hear from Bomber and Dragon, so why don't you two speak? I, I, I'm already down for the vault. Yeah. Uh, It seems to me like Gur's suggestion is basically, hey, let's all attack one place at the same time. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. That way we have the best chance of winning. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what he means by offensive. The two decisions we can make between well, right now is so, between... Uh, more so what Gurr meant was instead of s sitting here and acting cautiously while an enemy is actively hunting us and we have no way to counter that hunt, instead keep moving all together and attack and get a leg up somehow. Yeah. yeah. And I agree with that. Yep. It's, more of, a, it's so, more of a desperate offense than a, um, you know, overwhelming assault. Yeah. If we're trying to get a get a weapons and armor that might help fight against them, then the, uh, in that case, then Tears Laboratory would be the best suggestion. We don't. I just want to go there for the lore. Yeah. Yeah. I like lore. We don't know. We don't know if Tears Laboratory is, you know. Build chock full with armor and weapons that can help us, but I think it's kind of implied that it could I mean, have that. Well, I mean, we could speculate all day, it's not going to matter to what is. I think it's just like it's we can bring this down to like, do people want to go there? Does anybody against traveling with all of the NPCs to the vault? Is anybody against oh, it? I'm no, against not it. at all. I'm Having not against all, if, the, if all the NPCs against were good. It. Yeah, I'm against it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's hear what you're thinking, Taz. Yeah, I mean. Going to the vault is risky. We don't know whether or not we can even reach it. Uh, mm -hmm. But aside from that, um, we don't know what type of the um, um, if we can even get into the vault in the first place, or if there's uh, a, a different sort of danger that might impede us. Of uh, sure. let's say, let's say um, eventually uh, the the apprentice the apprentice catches up to us, and mm -hmm. we're at the vault. But we don't really find um not only do we not find like things to equipment to to better fight the apprentice but they're at the vault themselves and they might know how to operate the vault themselves and might lead us to a disadvantage it's true uh, but, but at least we'll that, all be together yeah we'll have um, everybody right yeah uh, mm -hmm. aside from that though just going to the vault to me is just riskier risky um like I, I i like the i like the potential lore and stuff uh and i definitely like loot but i still want to see if we can complete the at least get all the keys first before going to well uh, let me let me give you this thought then like so as far as what we know about this island we're actually kind of going off of like tidbits that we can get this lab might be a great kicker to like you know what this island like you know it might give us more information to work with like more um locations you know what i mean like this could be the thing that breaks it all open also another thing we still don't know what the keys exactly are we're just we just know that we need we may need a key to get into the center to actually do what we need to do but we don't have the complete information at least with the vault we may have a complete picture. Right. It seems like most people are for the vault. 
<laughs> you live in Taz? Right, and but that's what I mean. I want to make sure everybody's. So that's why I just want to. I want to talk with the people who aren't in favor. What do you think about like all that does? That it might give us more info to actually complete our mission, even though it is a risk. I don't think because it's all a risk, risk, right? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that we don't really need more info. We'll know what the keys are once we see it. Um, I guess, but once we get this one, how do we go to the? How do we find the next key? Yeah, be sort of. All we know is the metamill one. Well, the thing is, yeah, I, I I get that, but as soon as we see one, it's gonna be similar to the other one. It's um. Other than that, I just feel like it might not work to our favor if we go through the vault. I just have this eerie feeling that it's risky, too risky. <laughs> It'd also be Fair. risky to go directly into the place where the apprentice is gonna be, which is the murder mill. But well, we have to do that regardless. Yeah, but the thing is, we know that he's, he's probably going to get distracted of the um, what we did for, uh, at the... Uh, it's been a day or two, hasn't time. it? Yeah. I'm sure no. it takes... No, not a two, but it's been no. eight hours mm -hmm. uh, since we long rested. But I'm sure it takes more time than that. It, well, it took a day or... for us to long rest, and it's going to take a day for us to pack up a base camp. And then it'll take like a few hours to get to the murder mill, which means ch there might be a chance that the uh, apprentice could be at the murder mill. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, but the thing about that is, while the camp is setting uh, is getting packed up, we can go at the mill and tackle it ourselves. And uh, then once, um, with two people down. Oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah, with two people down, like. When, we need yeah. a day ourselves just to get back on our feet. That's true. I forgot, I forgot about that. Um, and we could also have NPC help. Yeah. With certain objectives because of them traveling with us. Or us traveling with them. Yeah. What we could do also is we could just maybe do a siege on the murder mill with everybody. Oh, may I ask a question? So, uh, yeah. what if somebody said no? Like, like go ahead, <laughs> go ahead, ask. It's gonna be the first time ever. <laughs> but um, just to point out, the apprentice is either gonna get us either way. But I definitely, because Arcadum, you said you said that you better not let me catch you until you're level eight, right? That's what you said before. Yeah. But we're able to possibly scrape by. On level seven. So. Well, so, all right. So now we have to talk about real life um, practicality. Yeah. So the intention is that by act four, you guys will be level eight. So you're going to hit level eight at the end of this, uh, at the end of this month before my break, right? Okay. And you have approximately, what is it, two weeks, three weeks? Fucking day is it? It is. You have two more sessions after this. Yes. My intention is you're going to choose where you're going to go. I'm going to set up the maps, get you guys there, and then stop you there, level eight, going into that place, whichever the place is that you decide to go. Understood. Um, the likelihood of the apprentice catching you now that it is being distracted by weird magic is low. It's not zero, but it's low. Uh, so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, because there's nothing you could do to stop it anyway. You don't have the capacity right now. Mm -hmm. So focus on the things you can affect, which is which direction you're going to go. If that's the case, then getting as strong as possible right now while he's distracted would be the best idea. I would definitely yeah. say we should take yeah. the opportunity for the bolt. The high risk, high reward. What about um Steven? I haven't really heard your thoughts. Uh I'm good on going to the vault. I want to take a frontal approach on it. Okay. Um Lilith, what about you? I heard a little bit. What you, what you were saying? Uh, I, I agree with heading to the vault. Okay. 
So it sounds like most people are. Um, and Taz, Taz raises some good points. Um, how are you feeling now, Taz, after kind of all that was said? Well, not that I know that we're uh, pretty much are going to level up, no matter what we do. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it does make me feel a little bit more safer going through the vault. Um, All right. Now I'm just trying to size it with you the two. Yeah. Second. Mm. Yeah. What up? So yeah, I mean we got a little bit of time here to talk about it. Um. I think that's where my head's. I feel like there's risk everywhere, no matter what we do. I, I do like the aspect of potentially gaining more information about the island. I think that that's just where my head's at. Yeah, the more and I would information, take that risk. Yeah, this is the time where we need to know shit because right now we're just chickens without our heads on. Right now, mm -hmm. yeah. So if we go here and actually get some information, we'll know what the hell to do. Well, I think at this point. Most of us have gone vault. We can, like that's the plan to try and get into the vault. I don't think yeah, it's going to be a risk. It is true. Most people are voting. I just want to make sure everybody's comfortable doing it, and we like pocket through and. I'm 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 comfortable doing it. I'm just like, um, you guys have Yeah, yeah. And if it makes you feel a little better, if we do go by vote, keep in mind that I do have the navigator, so it's always a re-roll chance, and it could be better. And if you were right, you can say I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> Hell and yeah. even and if we get good wins, I'm in. <laughs> good wins, we're actually like going double time the speed because of the navigator. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I told you so. I'm in. Yeah, okay. let's wait, go. Wait. I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he told me. <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> All right, uh, a point in the positive. I do have the worthy title, so there will be a prismatic loot on the table. Nice. Maybe. Oh, shit. Ooh. So, uh, potentially better loot. Just saying. And, Just and Gambler Black loot? Question mark? Question mark. Remember when that <laughs> happened? I remember. Wait, combine that with the vault? That's insane. Hell That's yeah. nuts. Uh, he's like, wow. Luke, guys. Luke, all right. Let's go. What are we waiting Luke's for? Let's go. Grab Jack and let's go. Are we there yet? <laughs> are we there yet? <laughs> okay, are we locked in for full? Okay. I mean, all right. So, so seriously, I mean, it sounds like, again, six six out of seven are down. Guys, do you give the thumb the consent? Yeah. All right. Thumbs up. Locking Thumbs in up. for a vault. You can catch all that, Arcadum? The stuff about the are we area there yet? And I told you so. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. Here we fucking go then. Let's fucking do it. Oh, wait, dude. Um, 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 um. Silver oh, Star man. style. Silver ah. Star, it is time. As we get there and get our asses kicked. <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> what if we just what if we just got our asses kicked? <laughs> that could happen at any moment, any time. Anytime, anywhere. Alright. Anytime, we... anywhere, any place eat ass. So we'll jump back in, I guess. Um I'm gonna look to Gur. Mm. All right, good. It seems like we're all in agreement. Um, you propose a good plan. Indeed. Let us use this day to gather our strength and to get our two friends into working order. And then we set for this vault in the hopes that it might strengthen our position. All right, then we should make ourselves useful. Maybe people... Who are adept for it could hunt for some. Food. Well, I don't know if we'll find much food out here, but I could do some recon, look around the area. Everybody can make themselves useful, yeah. All right. Yes. Everyone mm. nods and starts to spread out to do their own thing. All 
All right, does anybody actually want to do anything on this day? If not, then I can move things forward. I, I would like have... to sleep. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am unconscious, so I can't do anything with flying steed or anything. Okay. Hi, love. What were you saying, Rayco, well, while they were all yapping over you? Yeah, uh, I was going to ask about how... Because most of my exposure before I got hit by the thing was uh, cantrip. <coughs> like, it was all cantrip. So how quickly does that fade? When at high exposures, it it fades. It's cantrip. Okay. All right. So I'd probably be, yeah, 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 yeah. Probably be more down there. But yes, just checking. Doesn't that work differently once you have already a high exposure? No. Okay. No. Cantrip exposure is temporary. Also, because I'm losing exposure and royal blood, do I get the additional loss of it as well? Or I only just lose the cantrip exposure? I guess you lose the cantrip exposure. Thank you. I'm making that note. Anybody else? No, I'm good. Steven? No, we just. Now we just do patrol. Yeah. Make sure nothing. I'd like to look for food if we can try to collect rations. Didn't we get like that whole thing of rations from Marlow? Yeah, we got like uh, two hundred. Whatever we could grab. I mean, something. No, they they gave us a lot of rations. Also, yeah, they gave us a lot of rations. Large, but they gave we're us not like the forge on the Isle of Mana, so. Okay, could we get a number at least to the rations at this point? Like, wait. And... Uh, I think I we believe, have a chest full of like shit too. Uh, I believe it's is that in our notes how much they gave. We should have it in uh, numbers, yeah. And then there's a shit in the outpost box. I mean, there's a bunch of shit in there too. Then we can just grab the important shit and dip. We also have uh, one to two people with good berry, right? Yes. So, if you go into the outpost, you can actually, like, send shit to yourself. Uh, I think we should start grabbing some shit. So, everybody kind of go in there and just start grabbing shit. It doesn't really matter who's holding it at this point. Just grab it. Okay. I cannot interact with the uh, outpost. Oh. That's cool. I don't see anything in that. I'll go slash crew. So all I see is hammer, time, and faith. What about car grown crew? There's nothing there. That's all I see. Okay, it's me. Uh, right now. Oh, I see uh, Kaga. I'm gonna <laughs> post a, uh, a snippet in the in our notes, and then you can just let me know, and I'll toss it over to you. There you go. I'll take the biomass and biotic operation. Yeah, you would. All right, let's see. <laughs> Biomass sent over to the sick fuck. Let's see where is he? Tuke is on here. Why does it let me? Oh, it, it says Tuke. All right, I'm... it does. Yeah, it's because it's because you're uh, at the bottom left. You're like signed into T. <laughs> oh, I... oh, right. <laughs> Go change I that. Can, I, I think can... it might it might send it here. I'm gonna send it to fuck. You'll figure it out. No, no, I can send it to myself. Sorry. Very close. Okay. Wait, how many light um, shields are there? Wait, no, the six. Okay, I thought the... <laughs> 25 the pickaxes. That's right. Five. I thought there was over 69,000 shields. Bon, Bon, we got 25 pickaxes, Bon. I'm 25, we got room for two more, Bon. That's it. 27 max. That's all you get. Just two of them, Bon. Alright, three more. That's it. Don't be fucking greedy, Bon. Bon, stop. All right, she just puts on more. her jacket and gets ready to head out. <laughs> All right, you get Let one. Fucking... You get one more shield, Bon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need to toss this shit the fucking old-fashioned way. The fucking things, fucking my ass. Let's see, there we go. Grab that. Grab that. That. Send me anything you want me to hold. Yeah, great. I just need to drag it on my sheet, and then fucking I'm gonna start distributing it. I'll let you know Beyond... when I. While I do this, is there anything anybody else wants to, like, RP or fucking do before we go? I already put on my jacket. Oh. I'm good. Okay. 
And I will pay last respects to the two fallen comrades from earlier. You know what? I'm going to oh, join yeah. you with that. Classic Silver Star. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. It, let's give our people yeah. died. Cool. I mean, let's... it's a tragedy. Uh, Would you say I'm new gonna... girl? Gee, <laughs> right? this is the first time she's hearing about people who have died that were close to them. That's just like, oh, okay, cool. I mean, it's a tragedy, but it, I guess it's good to know. Good to know that, that is... they died. That means I'm here. Haha. Uh -huh. fucking... anyway, oh, wait, ahead. wait. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Brutus, Booker, your last great comrades. Yeah. Oh let's god. Let, let's let, let their sacrifice just, be in vain. It's just me and Book of the last, last of the original Silver Star. Yep, the original looks <laughs> over. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the what, original too. Yeah, that's oh, the wow. original. It's just that's where we started. Definitely, <laughs> Rudy. Yep. I mean, hey. Okay. Uh, you know what? I can't really say anything because I'm not Keanu. So. Wait, uh, Scott, stop, stop, you stop something to me. It actually went the coast to Took. <laughs> uh, okay, that's what I thought. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Look, I'll, the I'll just sky manually, uh, I'll just manually put it uh, into my cap. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you've been a great help, Sky. I know things started a bit rough, but you really, you really found your place um, in the Silver Star. You, you have a good heart. That's what we need, Cody. That's a Second time I've heard of that. Okay, I went back and checked. They what? gave us 140 rations. Awesome. Uh, what is that, like a pound per ration? So like 140 it's, pounds? It's two pounds per rations. I carried... Oh, boy. Gear. Okay. Anyways, so I know I have... Hey, who was the first person? Fuck. The second? May yeah. I ask, you, is this your first party? All together, but... Uh, well, I just showed him to the same job listen you did, Brody. I didn't really pull the strings. May I ask you to a question? Oh. <laughs> Brutus, may I ask you a question? Brutus, may I ask you a question? Uh, sure. Is this your first time being in a party like this? Yeah. What about you, Booker? Um. No, he's definitely had another party. You told he, us already. He what? Yeah, this, uh, this ain't my first rodeo. We talked a little bit about it. That was before you were here, Skya. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we touch the honesties too much. Yeah, could touch him, Rudy. But, uh, yeah. Gaia will silently think to herself and walk away. Oh, all right. See, see you, Gaia. All right, so I took some stuff from the outpost and just deleted them. Yeah. And what's left Thanks. are the recipes and those two. She's mad, Brody. Yeah, she just doesn't know you as well as I do. Hey, true that. Just do the handshake. Uh, remember the old one, two. Yeah. Man, what? My man. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, we too hard. Yeah, hey, we got this shit. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, let's okay. let's go see what Taz. Let's go. Let's go see. Let's go see what Navi's <laughs> writing. <laughs> right hey, now. Navi, what are you writing over there? <laughs> Navi, what are you? <laughs> Get his book. Get his book, Brody. <laughs> Get the book. <laughs> oh shit, he's right. Little hearts. Look at them. They look like uh, lima beans. <laughs> they look like lima beans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are, are you guys gonna take the recipes and the uh, materials? I, I I should have. I, I took everything. And I distributed, um, I gave a bunch of shit to, uh, Jacket, um. Oh, I took, okay. Because I took... How was the chest AFK? 
somebody <laughs> fucking fucked it. All right, <laughs> who, who's taking? Who's fucking, who's taking I think, the game? I, I think it was Ryoji. <laughs> you should, you should sure give someone the uh, alchemist kit. Uh, no. Do you want it? Because I I took it just because. Okay, so you have it. Yeah. Okay, cool. I also have bloodstones, <laughs> the minor yeah. biomass, and the biotic upgrade. Yeah. All right, deleting and the bloodstone. And also the light shield and stuff. And there. jacket. You should have mithril stock, quicksilver stock. Masterwork, gladiator, gladiator mail, the helm of holding recipe, and meteor star recipe. Yeah. Uh, you also sent me the uh, apply, the uh, biotic equation as well. So do you want okay. me to delete that? Yeah, delete that, and then we should have everything accounted for. Awesome. Cool. Oh wait, are we? Is the chest going with us? Uh, or is it I mean, gonna get deleted. Uh, that's I mean, a good we question. can bring it with us. I mean, if we have enough people to fucking carry it, I guess, then sure. Well, I mean, I'm just, uh, just, uh, because I remember last time you said that we have to, like, use the token instead mm -hmm. of the one that's on the, on the list. Right. Um, because if we delete it, all, all the stuff is going to get gone. I also don't right. see anything in the, uh, in the one in the list. Yeah, there should be there should be nothing now. Um, there, oh, who who's Even taking the faith? That. Who's taking the faith armor? Fifth, uh, is it? I mean, is might it? be able to salvage it if anything, or I guess so. It's the faith. What is this like a breastplate or some shit? Medium yeah. armor. I'll fucking I'll grab it for now. Fucking twenty five pounds. Fuck my old man body. I, well, if it's I had plans for that faith armor. Do you want it, Lilith? I can send it to you. Uh, I, have, I have a lot of inventory space, but I mean, I can manage some inventory space, honestly. All right, I'll, sure. I'll take the other. I have eighty uh, pounds worth of space available. I'll take the other. The Wait, so no, that there. I have twenty nine point six out of ninety, so. So like 70. Okay, I don't care. Just one of you say me, then I'll do it. Me. Okay, cool. Then I accept. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here, eh? It's a fucking around. Stop taking Navi's book. Let's go. Hey, Bree. It's time to go, Bree. <laughs> Aren't you the one that's trying to take Navi's book? Ah, it's Broody. Yeah. Like, I, like, take I, Jacket's like, I, I don't think Brutus can even... Get that. <laughs> take Jacket's unconscious hand. Like, oh, look, uh, Jacket's trying to take it. Ah, uh, Jack, come on. He's unconscious. <laughs> yeah, I know. As you guys rest another day, finally, your companions, Jacket and Ryoji, awaken. Uh, Don't just fucking burp <laughs> into their mic, dude. Like, the I fuck? heard it. I heard that. <laughs> I know who did it. Too. Was, was it was no, I was drinking. I was drinking, but I wasn't burping. Uh, anyway, you're both awake. So. <coughs> you can't yeah. not control this fucking chest. Uh, <laughs> just select yourself with the uh, box. Click drag yourself. It'll go. Take it off. No, it's not. It's... What you do? No, <laughs> quick, okay. Yeah, yeah. As yeah, you yeah, move yeah, over yeah, the open yeah. board. Hey, hey. Move. How about we forget the box? All right. <laughs> fucking forget the fucking box. I'm putting it way the fuck over here. You guys are fucking. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. You guys wake up. <laughs> My fidget <laughs> spinner. <laughs> you got to the box down. away. Okay, you deleted the box. Okay. I'm gonna smoke. You guys. You guys RP. Hi, I'm awake but unconscious. My head's pounding. Yeah, that's what happens when you touch a magical sauce like that. I. You okay, Ryoji? I feel foggy. Physically, I feel fine, but it feels like something's different. I feel hotter, more. Different in a way. Interesting. Like, 
Is it I, good I or know, bad? I don't know how to explain it. it is it like a good, bad, bad, good? What is it? I, kind of I don't feeling? know if it's good or bad. It's just different. It's as if everything was flowing within me and then just rushing through me all at once. I I don't know how to Well I I do believe you did touch a ley line. That kind I... of that kind of energy can leave its mark on you. I had assumed it was inactive from the creature absorbing its mana, but I guess not. Well, there's a good chance when it died and its rituals were disrupted, all that energy came crashing back. And you were at the center of it. For it's... a second there, I thought you were vaporized. For a second there, I thought I was too. Is we... everyone we... okay? I mean, That's you and you too. You might have a hole in your leg, though. <laughs> My leg? Yeah, but I had to drag you out with an arrow. I will inspect my leg. It was actually your ass I got pissed in. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I don't remember exactly where he is, but... Point being well, is that it should have been healed by now by Sotek. But my... My ass is a little sore. <laughs> That might just be for I think you it's laying down on the ground. It was Booker that did that. Just, just slightly ironic. That wasn't an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> just to let you know, also, you might have a bit of back pain because you guys were kind of out for almost like two days. Two oh. days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You were out for a few days. Honestly, I'm surprised that we're awake at all. Well, if it wasn't for um, Saki here and Motaria. Oh, I see we have someone new. If they I we don't remember one. her from, the, from before. It's nice to meet you again. No, Rebellion. they don't. I've, Sorry, that's right. I've never met her. Uh, hello. She was on the boat with them. Huh? Yes. She liked to sleep out at night action. and look at the stars. <laughs> was Mataria no. on the boat? I don't think so. Uh, Apparently out. it was shown that she was. No, no it was a different Ra boat. Reiko, Reiko, Reiko was on our boat. Literally, I mean, have said it was a different boat. Okay. I mean, they got on the same boat together with Gerblon Shadow. I don't know if they, like, kicked her off. <laughs> I, In which case, I, I think... would know about her because of the, uh... You know... Her, the disruption she made. It doesn't matter. Uh... Either way, I think introductions are in order. Uh, hello. As My as name God is... God comes back. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as her voice comes back, yes. But in God is gone. Time, God is gone. <laughs> God is gone. We are free. You're uh, all but... NPCs. Yes. I was well. We did come up with a plan of action while you were unconscious. Ha oh, however, I I am sorry. I didn't in initially recognize you. It has been a stressful stressful few days. Draco. It happens. Trauma, battle. And I suppose you hadn't seen me like this. I still had to keep it somewhat under wraps. And she will gesture to ears and tail being obviously out. I mean... As she is not hiding the fact that she is a skinwalker. I mean, I am a... I'm a... used to... skinwalker descent. It's quite common. 
I mean, not here, of course. But I mean, we've seen quite a bit of skinwalkers here. It's Actually, just like to, that is you know, that is true. Talk about it. Yeah, that's what book is a skinwalker too. Oh, we have From what I've gathered, know. this church don't like don't really like uh, skinwalkers. I mean, all foreigners or apostates. There's a lot the or, church does not or like. Or magic users. Look what they did to Sunset. They thought they were he was a skinwalker. <laughs> yeah, they got a call on him. That doesn't work. <laughs> Oh. What's it idiots. makes you do insane things sometimes. It's kind of funny. You can clearly tell he is not a skinwalker. Well, the church doesn't. Know. To them, he looks like oh. a monster. To us, he just looks like a person. Also, to those who don't know who a skinwalker even is, it would be hard to tell the difference. I think everyone knows what it is here. The church does not know what it is. Obviously, like, the, that church, was the point. church doesn't. Yeah, church are fools. Uh, also, I I believe introductions are in order. Uh, hello, I I am Ryoji Silva. As he greets himself to Mor Moritaria. I don't believe we've met. We haven't. Moritaria is my name. Well, it's very nice to meet you, even in these unforeseen circumstances. Sure. Are we done with the awkward pleasantries? I think it is time we made our move on, yes, girl? <clears throat> well, are the two of you feeling... Up for a journey? Oh, we are already moving out? Yes. Yes. <laughs> We're going to the if we are if we are planning on leaving, do you mind if I summon a steed that may help carry our supplies? Well I summon I I I are you sure that's wise? No it is not. <laughs> If what you have been telling me is true and we are being hunted for our magic, summoning a steed will do nothing but attract attention we do not need. Understood. Then I will hold off. One moment. I must pray for my people. Uh, you will see that Sergio will burn a piece of incense and a feather and will sprinkle its ashes upon the ground. And he will begin to quietly pray in Antvanti. Well then, <clears throat> we should prepare formation. We'll, we'll give the lad some time to finish his prayers. Where is Booker? It's, it's, it's books there. Books. Oh, yeah, I'm here. I was just giving them time to RP. I'm just uh, <laughs> having a smoke in the distance, looking off, uh, juggling the gambling black die in my hand, mucking about. <laughs> having a good time. All right. Well, everyone's gathering up. Uh, Booker, on your way back, you will see that Sergio is quietly praying to himself and performing some kind of Aunt Vonti ritual. Uh, okay, uh, I don't want to interrupt him or uh, intervene or anything, but I do kind of want to observe it. Okay, as you kind of linger around the corner and watch, uh, you will see Cuck that he, that he has kind of <clears throat> uh, you will see that he has burnt a a feather, completed it to dust, and has rubbed it across his hands. Um, you can hear him muttering in his language. Um, very softly. Uh, uh, very softly, you can hear him saying, Madre serpiente, siendes un salva conducto, 
Madre Sapiente Concedenos Un Salva Cadanto. Over and over again underneath his breath as he prays for safe passage. I'll not. I won't interrupt him or make a joke or anything like that. I'll kind of wait for him to be done, and then once he is, just, um... Um... You'll be okay about without Sergio? I didn't really hear you say anything during all that. I'm sorry, what, what did you say, books? I, I, didn't, I didn't catch it. Oh, it's okay. Um... After Sergio is done, and then uh, he finishes his prayer, whatever Booker just, will just say, um, uh, Sergio, um, hopefully what you did there was good. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, you're okay with all this. I, I didn't really hear your voice when we talked about moving. He will turn, and he will say, It is just a place. And our mission is more important. Wherever my father is, I hope that he knows. Well, I hope that he's watching. I have prayed to Illum to grant us safe passage. Let us hope that the Laughing Red is not hung. I hope as well. I'm sure as far as your father, I'm sure he's watching over each of us. Um, the orange is strong in you, yeah? <laughs> we shall see. I believe. Oh shit, look who's up. What's up, Jackie, you fuckface? Good night. Good day, uh, fucker. How you feeling? Zoctec will hold Sky's hand and join the formation. Better than I have, uh, since apparently, uh, two days ago. nods all right hell yeah look at this little look at this little ship of people all right so they hold navi's hand no if you wanted wow. to say something go ahead <laughs> so Braco, you said earlier that i may have touched a ley line and it could have lingering effects well that's just coming in contact with a lot of magic can do that to you. Is, is there any thing I could do about it? Or is it is it just permanent? You need to be more careful about what you touch. But as for what's already happened to you, I, I can't take that back. And I don't know of any magic that could. Is there... Is there any way to know what's been done to me? That may be an examination. I don't know. I could not really say. That That's an arcade question. Could I medicine or Arcana Ryoji to see if I could figure out what's changed about him? Since uh, the, uh, not without... A workshop implements okay. like not here standing in the middle of a mm -hmm. broken down yeah, yeah you, you would need yeah, yeah. you would need time and equipment and materials of which you have neither yes so, i mean if we go back to the city of glass maybe but here with what limited materials we have i think we should focus more on what's ahead of us I'm sure we can figure out what happened to you in time. I I see. Well, I'll just keep my my thoughts focused on the mission ahead. Rico will nod. Are y'all ready? All right. And so the party sets off. Travel northeaster, uh, north and a northeasterly direction. Um, with the combined strength of all the survival checks and the navigator's presence, um, you're not going to get lost going into the direction that you're going to go. 
and many of the creatures make way from your large party. And thankfully, whether by providence or luck, you it seems that you have been unaccosted. Eventually, you arrive to a large cave overlooking what appears to be a large section of a cliff going out towards the ocean. Following Sergio's guidance, he will point out that there are several Anvanti symbols above this cavern, and as he leads you inside, he will take you upon the path of ancients. Oh, shit. Why do I get a sense of deja vu? Hmm. I don't Trumps. know, mate. What's the fucking problem? I don't why, know. Yeah. Why you? Why you vooing and Dajan? I don't know. <coughs> Deja vu, ja. Devar de boozy. All right. And you will end up here. What the fuck? There's like a name. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. That's kind of cool. Look at the snake in front of us, guys. Okay, look, he. This looks like a scene that would come out of like freaking Tron or something. It, it's gonna eat your jacket. Oh shit! He's eating jacket. <laughs> We're All right, guys, so cute the eye. And as you get to this point to walk upon the path of ancients, uh, Sergio will step ahead and begin to read the inscriptions of his people, left many years ago. Unfortunately, we have reached the end of the content that I have prepared. So, I will need to prepare for next time, and now that I know which direction you are going. <laughs> cool. Sounds good. Yes. G fucking G. And it's my hope that over the next two sessions will be you traveling along the path of ancients, which is like this like, big elaborate thing, and then you will arrive before the vault, uh, as previously discussed, hopefully. Hell yeah. Very exciting. Yeah, yeah good stuff, GG's. guys. Good session. Solid session. Good shit. Got some direction, some solid RP, Navi's writing his book. <laughs> it's all really good. What's he writing in there? You just what you writing that in joke. there? I don't know, I'm just trying to check to take it away. You, uh... I take it. <laughs> oh, he's grabbing it with his big fist. Ah, he's got it, Navi. What are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit, he used his big, his big fist. He's grabbing it with his big, big uh, fist. I'm gonna busk her, uh, that, uh, strength check. Hell yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna chastise Ryoshi. <laughs> oh god, here we go. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's look at fan art. We actually have some. Hell yeah. Yippee. Oh fuck. Let's go. Let me see that shit. Oh, uh, we got Snoot Kisses. Aww. Oh, he's bald. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't have hair. <laughs> you know, he he have hair. hair. Why would he have hair? He's a lizard man. <laughs> Crazy. Booker listening to the Aunt Vaunty prayers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chat listening to the Aunt Vaunty prayers. I I don't understand that one, but yeah, right. That's just that's just Van. That's a. Well, I mean, I, I hope I, I hope I said it right. I think I did, but. My pronunciation is probably very white. But anyway. What's the language that we tried? I was speaking Spanish, Taz. You were? <laughs> that wasn't Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Can, you know what? Can you even speak Spanish? I haven't heard. Yeah, you. I haven't does. heard. You. I haven't heard you speak Spanish. How do I know? Keep it up, I love. No mames, way. Oh come on! 
<laughs> you Guatemalan, French, Canadian, fucking ten Chihuahua heaven. <laughs> Oh. No word, no what, word what, what I what I said was, or at least I was trying to say, was uh, Madre Serpiente concedenos un uh, salva conducto. Mother Serpent grant us safe passage. Okay, that last part didn't really work. It. <laughs> oh, it didn't Why work? Oh yeah, how do I say that, Taz? Hmm? Yeah, Taz, let's go. Yeah, let's hear it. No, <laughs> go ahead. Passage, right? Yeah, safe passage. Um, passage is the word that I don't know in Spanish, but it's conducto. Oh, oh, what, go, oh, what, oh, what's that? You don't know <laughs> Spanish? Oh, wow. I do. I, okay. Wow. Well, I didn't what's went it? to Spanish school. The only people I spoke in Spanish to were my parents. <laughs> Say this, you piece of shit. Say it right now. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do it, do you it. Canadian. <laughs> Passage? Okay, that's more like what... No, uh, look in the embedded chat. Say that right now. Embedded chat? Yes, okay. look. Oh. Matres en pierto. Uh, Concentonos. Con Wait, what? Concentonos. Uh, un salvo... What? Salvo conducto? Okay. He said the exact same thing that I said. <laughs> I, I had the AI read it to me and it said the exact same thing too. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> sounded like Spanish. Hey, hey, Taz, come here. <laughs> come here. Come here. I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, 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 why don't you guys go ahead and just, just go 